Simple, raw and tough. I know, sounds like an adult movie, but it's not. It's Honda's design language that they wanted to implement when they came up with the brand new CL500. CL, uh, you haven't heard that in Honda's lineup for quite a long, long time. CL is their designation for scramblers. And now we have a brand new one, which is based pretty much very close to the Rebel, but there are some quite big differences. The first major difference is a redesigned chassis and uh, Honda went all out explaining that they are very proud of the redesign, they did it with computer aided engineering as what they call it, that was needed to strike a balance between the weight of the, of the chassis and its actual strength. So it's not the same one as on, on the Rebel and it should tackle rough city streets or uneven roads with no problem whatsoever. Speaking of uneven city streets or rough dirt roads, the ground clearance is unfortunately only 155 millimeters, so you're not going to be doing any sort of uh, proper off-roading on it. Uh, suspension as well, 41 millimeter forks. They are uh, traditional, they're not upside down forks. And the ground clearance there is again 150 millimeters. Rear suspension, you've got two springs and those are preload adjustable. That's the only suspension adjustability on this bike and that's five different clicks. The engine is the same one as on Honda's other 500 cc lineups. It's actually a 471 cc engine, 43, hold on, I've written it down. 46 horsepower and 43 newton meters of torque but they haven't just taken it straight from uh, the rebel or the 500x and put it on here they have some, made some mod modifications to it and there are too many to remember so here they are revised fuel mapping a new intake and uh, one extra tooth on the rear sprocket and that should give you crispier acceleration it should also give you better top speed and there was one more which is a brand new exhaust which when they started it up on uh, on the stage it just sounded wonderful it sounded like a scrambler exactly what a motorcycle should sound like seat height is at a very unimposing 790 millimeters so this shouldn't be a problem for uh, shorter people as well shorter riders uh, weight as well not imposing 192 kilograms that's great <laughs> Right, let's see how comfortable it feels being a scrambler of upright position. That's great. Not very comfortable in between my in between my legs here. These little tank protectors are I don't know, they're not comfortable at all. I would rather hug the tank than these tank protectors. So but that's that would be just me. Uh, once again, 511, 1.8 meters and uh, I can definitely see myself riding this for uh, a few hours without any problem whatsoever. The clutch, <laughs> I can see now, feels a little bit clunky. It's not, it's not, uh, I don't know, it's not very good feedback that I'm getting from it. Standing up is not bad at all. It is a scrambler, so you might, you know, have to go off-road with it, but uh, no, it's proper comfortable. The fuel tank is only 12 litres, but Honda claims that should get you about 300 kilometres of range. The CL500 comes in four different colours, uh, orange, green, blue and black. Obviously Honda has got their own names for it. Blue for example is Candy Caribbean Blue Sea. It's a very nice colour. As far as electronics go on the new Scrambler, you get nothing except an LCD screen, not a TFT, just an inverted color LCD screen, but it's put into a very uh, circular mount and I don't know, I like it, it just looks very nice. The cowling on the headlight, that just looks very nice to me. The headlight with the four different individual LEDs, that looks brilliant as well. So I think design-wise, it's, it's my kind of bike. Maybe it's something that you either like or you really don't like, but uh, I'm in the I really like it category. You get a 19 inch wheel on the front and a 17 on the rear. Those should be absolutely fine for the type of dirt riding that you might be inclined to do on the new Scrambler. And uh, the handlebars are very upright as well. Honda says they are perfectly suited both for off-road and on-road. Um, I'm dying to test this bike out. So whenever it does come out to a dealer, uh, it just, it, it looks great. It, it reminds me of, in one word, 
if you take a look at it, I just, I just see Rambo, that's it. Rambo riding his bike in uh, First Blood 1. It wasn't a scrambler, obviously, but just reminds me of that. So uh, if I missed anything on it, uh, the comment section below is the right place for you. Put your comments there and I will answer you. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you think you've learned something new, why not consider subscribing or becoming one of our Patreons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.